So let's start with the very smallest unit of internet that is network. Okay, now what network is, we call internet as a largest network in the world that connects hundreds and thousands of, you know, individual networks all over the world together. So we can talk about like, uh, we want that two computers should communicate with each other. Then we, uh, you know, connect them uh, with uh, some RJ45 connector cross cable connection so that they two, two computers can communicate. Okay, but when I want that entire lab should be connected with each other so that uh, one file get transferred to uh, from one computer to another computer in just few seconds then we must say that they all all of those computers should be in a network okay in one network so we can say that for example if we take an example of a lab in our uh, let's say office or let let's say we talk about in any school or in any college or in any organization if we are talking about various computers are connected in a network that means they are connected to each other for communication purposes and in this way it makes the smallest network okay so internet if we talk about it is the amalgamization of various kinds of network together okay when we connect all those networks together uh, by one or the other means then a big network come into the picture okay so they are of various types which we will be discussing in our next slide uh, before that one more important thing is internet service provider that is isp this is uh, a commercial organization basically which we should know what isp is because it provides us a services that are called internet services which are very important to us okay so it is a commercial organization which gives us permanent connection to the internet or you can say sell temporary connection to the subscribers okay so examples for internet internet service providers are prodigy america online microsoft network at and networks and uh, various other uh, internet service providers okay so in this present slide uh, like we were talking about various kinds of network so here are the three types of computer networks one is lan man and when you might have heard about these uh, mainly lan okay so lan is local area network local area and network okay so local area network basically looks like this this picture which you are looking okay so these all uh, blocks are actually computers which are connected to each other with the central common lane which is known as ethernet okay we'll not get into details so these computers can communicate to each other due with the help of these uh, lines or these connections which they have made to together so you can take an example of a lab or an organization okay uh, or an office in which we work all the computers are connected to each other and then we call that they are in a network or they are in a lan okay further if we move uh, further then another kind of uh, uh, computer network is man which is metropolitan area network now this metropolitan area network is uh, incorporated with the uh, you can take an example of uh, let's suppose there is a city which we are talking about that city might include uh, hospitals various hospitals many schools many factories many colleges many other institutes and other kind of firms okay that may carry LAN they, that may have LAN in it and when all these LANs get connected to each other uh, to make a single connection which is MAN Okay, so as the name suggests, metropolitan area network, that means uh, it is a network of the size uh, whose area size is of a metro city. Okay, so uh, this is metro, metropolitan area network, MAN. Okay, then moving further, if we talk about WAN, then WAN is wide area network. Again, uh, you can take, you can uh, imagine like you are trying to connect various continents in the world okay we have connected cities already with the help of man and various man can connect to make countries unite together countries network unite together and now if i am talking about van that is wide area network wherein various lands and many mans are connected together and they become one 
okay so in this way the smallest entity that is network is now connected to each other and they are becoming or growing larger and larger so in this way our internet comes into existence okay so moving further if we talk about how the communication takes place like presently we are communicating so what i am doing my computer is sending digital signals these digital signals are fetched by modem which is modulator and demodulator now the task of this modem is like to convert digital signals into the analog signals okay once these analog signals are reached to internet service provider then this internet service provider will connect us with internet and internet through internet will be reaching at the destination that is at your systems okay so again with the help of internet service provider uh, my analog signals will get converted into the digital signals with the help of modem which is there at your place okay then these digital signals will be captivated by your system wherein you can get me what i am talking what i am i don't know sharing and all these uh, stuff okay so you can see the entire uh, like functionality of internet and various other things which are working together in layers to give such a fast and uh, such a good service okay so from here you can see how you know efficient this internet is because in just a blink of eye or in you can say in real time you can hear my voice you can see what we are doing what activities are being uh, carried on here so you can see the efficiency of internet